Because you have to answer questions like an asshole. Like, when you hear like like people like Gwyneth Paltrow that talk about their art, fuck yeah. off. You don't do anything. Now I'm going to sound like a douchebag. And like, I didn't do anything. It's because I have a small penis. Some people get big trucks and put Raider stickers on them. And I put out big books to compensate for my little dick. You can ask out of anything. Why do we make music? Why do we make art? Anything. Like, it's really for fucking nothing, isn't it? That said, it's vanity. I put it out like it's a, it's a collection of all the stuff I did, and I wanted it all in one place rather than in these, like, pea-stained magazines that are hiding behind toilets around the world. I just wanted to fucking have a book come out, okay? I wanted a fucking book. It's like that shitty secret that's in skateboarding that nobody likes to talk about. Everyone wants to get sponsored and everyone wants to be successful and do well, but no one says it. They always act like they don't care. It's a weird feeling dealing with that side of it, the promotional side of it. I wish I could just fucking put this thing out and be like, everyone would say it's awesome. I wouldn't have to do anything because it feels funny. The kids issue in general really blew up in our face, and so many parents bought that one. Oh, there's a little eight-year-old Ryan Sheckler on the cover. My kid's eight years old and likes skateboarding, let's buy it. <laughs> Omar Salazar's first interview ever is in the kids' issue. I was asking him, like, if he had hair on his balls. I ended it with, if you could be as good as the Musco, would you fuck your mom? And he thought it was funny, even. He was like, no, he's a fucking idiot. But the news, on the other hand, looked at it as like an adult raping a child. I don't know, we didn't, we didn't think of that shit. Like... The taboo thing was a legitimate mistake. Obviously, we found it pretty funny. It was a simple human error. It was like a, a matter of like an envelope just got mixed up. Like they put the, the, the Big Brother list in another envelope. It couldn't have been worse to like middle America. A black man fisting a white girl. The funniest part of that to me was learning that People subscribe to Taboo magazine? <laughs> what the fuck? You fucking creeps. We were able to do whatever we wanted. We were the editors. And that's why it came out the way it did, you know? A lot of it was just to see what it looked like in a magazine. Like, this would be fucking stupid. What would a full page photo of dead Hitler look like on a page on a page in a magazine? Like in a skateboard magazine. What would it look like in the middle of the sequence if you just made one frame, just two boobs? two fucking big tits right there. And they did, they just put them in there. Look, I'm sucking cock right here, but Tony Hawk is always fucking down to do anything, which is something that people don't really seem to know about him. Andy Roy, he doesn't have a sensor, so you can always count on a really good Andy Roy interview. When Big Brother died, I thought Crail Tap might be an interesting magazine to kind of take its place. But then Crail Tap has this kind of cool veneer on it, you know? Like Jeremy Rogers retiring. There's no one out there who touched that. There's no magazine or anything who made, made fun of that. Like, that's fucking retarded. There's no venue out there to, to kind of address those kinds of issues, you know what I mean? Like everyone's just like, no, 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 everything's cool. I really like your shirt. You're fucking a bunch of twerps. It would be nice to see some sort of a, like an honest discussion about things in skateboarding without all this sugary, sugar-coated taffy. Taffy? Who eats taffy? Like the, the deer to thing, the street league. The honest opinion out there is that it kind of sucks, but no one's saying that. There's nothing out there, there's no forum, except for like the slap message boards, but who listens to fucking small like 321 who cares what he has to fucking say about anything another good example of um an issue that came up that wasn't grabbed by the skate media and that's another thing skate media is there such a thing if the barracks united and you know god bless steve barry he's fucking awesome but he did like make this mistake of putting himself out there as like this messiah that's going to save skateboarding but he forgot fails to mention in that whole like spiel that you have to pay him to become a part of his whole little community to keep it real and everything. That kid and whatever, dude and who's the shop owner, called him out like, this is bullshit, you're not saving skateboarding, you're making money off of shops. I don't know who's right and who's wrong in that situation, but that was like a pretty big issue and is something that should be 
the skate media, which doesn't exist, should grab hold of that. No one in skateboarding wants to take that. No one, Thrasher, Transworld, the skateboard mag, skateboarder, slap. It would be nice to have a forum where this sort of thing can be discussed in an open manner and not have to worry about losing advertisers or hurting anybody's feelings, which is what Big Brother was.